Hey everybody, we are teaching Sculptor VR, and this particular episode is all about the stamp tool. This is, st this is tool number four across the top, and it looks like a red rubber stamp tool. This is the tool we're going to use for copy and paste. A very general computer term, but this is one of those tools that gets more and more interesting as we go. We're going to start with a very simple what it does, but by the end of it, it's going to have these extra tricks that you really don't expect. That's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to start simple. Here I am in my sculpture. We are on the first layer, meaning we're all in one piece right now, because the stamp tool is indeed layer specific. If you're not sure what layers are, we've got a link to the layers basics introduction up above. But for now, we're going to take my purple creation tool and we're going to make a nice little thing. There is my thing. How nice. So what the stamp tool lets me do is copy anything in a layer and then create that in any other layer or even more on the same. Basically, copy and paste it anywhere else, but it's got a few extras. So here's how it works. I'm going to draw something in a layer and then choose the stamp tool, stamp. If you have been using the stamp tool, it won't have an empty box up here. See that empty box around the top? This is when it's empty and ready to go. If you click on clear, it will turn your controller into that empty box. Now, it's going to copy anything you put in this box. This box works just like the stretchable box tool. And if you remember that one, we'll try to remember to link that one in too. But the way it works is, I hold up the controller, hold the trigger down. Wherever you start, that's the corner of your box. And you can move your controller to make that box any size and shape you want. So the ideal situation is I'm going to make that box cover the thing I want to copy. When I let go, it memorizes that shape, all the colors and materialize. If you look at your controller, it now has your shape in the controller. You can use your thumb control up and down to make it larger and smaller. This is not a brush. I'm not going to hold the trigger down. This is a single pull the trigger to create that object. And each time you click, we're going to create another occurrence, another instance of that object. So this is still in the first layer. So we're making all of these pieces together. But if I make another layer, I'm now in layer number two. I go back to my stamp tool and create my object. This is indeed a separate piece from the original. It's an exact duplicate, but now I can treat it differently, make it bigger, smaller, rotate it around, erase parts of it, and I still have the original. I also still have the original as a stamp. Every time I come back to this tool from now on, I could switch to a different tool, draw something else, then come back to the stamp, and I still have this as part of my controller. I can still create more of this thing. I can create more layers to keep them separate. I can even open up an entirely new sketch. This one's going to be a procedural rolling. Entirely new sketch. I could even load in an older sketch. And the stamp is still here. So I can actually take things from one sketch, one sculpture, and bring it into an entirely different sculpture. Remember, it is layer specific. I can only copy one layer and paste into a layer. So make sure you're thinking about how you want to manipulate these objects when you do your sculpting as well as your stamp copy and paste.
That's just the basics, regular copy and paste that anybody can do. There are a few extra tricks here going on under the hood. You'll notice once we're making our stamp tool, there are other options on this panel. At the bottom, high, medium, max, that's your detail level. How much of this picture exactly do you want to duplicate? A simple shape or a lower end system can get more bang for buck from the lower systems. If I've spent a lot of time doing precise detail on this layer, then the higher level of detail will help you get those pieces back. Other controls appear over here. Rough copy at the bottom here. If you cl click on it, it's got several different settings. Rough copy is the most open. For both the copying part and the pasting part, rough copy lets you go anywhere you want, any angle, any size. When you switch it to exact snap, that's going to limit the way your controller moves. It's going to make that shape snap to certain angles. So I'm going to set it to a medium snap. And you can see, no matter how I move my controller, that shape will only stay at certain angles. So I can make sure what I put in lines up. Even if my hand isn't steady, I can make sure all the soldiers line up in the army or all the apples are in the same orientation on the tree. So the snap lets you be precise to just different levels. Do you want only one setting? Do you want to be able to do a little more angles? That's what that controller is all about. So when you do paste or copy, the snap a setting lets you be as precise as possible. Mirror. You'll notice my shape has a specific direction. Mirror exactly does that. Puts it at a 90, uh, 180 flip of what it is. It's not just rotating it. It's actually doing a mirror image of what it sees. So writing would end up being backwards, that type of thing. Delete mode. Just like everything else, not only can we create objects, but we can use the same tool to carve in the same way. So if I have a flat plane, I can use this to delete or carve that shape out of the background. So you can see how it actually is removing carving, deleting, as opposed to creating, just like most of our other tools. So the snap tool, not only can we use it to copy and paste, but we can use it to create and delete, and we have controls to keep it steady, to keep it aligned. Finally, and this is the really cool part for all of you who stuck around this long, you can see how my shape is inside the little box. And whatever I click, whatever's in the little box gets duplicated. If I actually, let's start with a new thing so I don't freak out my memory here. But if I take this stamp, stamp, let's make it a little bigger so we can see what's been doing here, for example. Now I'm going to choose a completely different color and material. Here's my stamp again. I'm going to put my controller inside where this is. If I paint in here, inside the shape, it's part of the shape. And now when I stamp, it's got this new piece as part of what I'm stamping. So not only can we create, copy, and paste, but then we can go in and alter update and change whatever we've copied. I'll go in with my paint tool, just a paintbrush. So now I'm going to take the same stamp, but I'm going to change it a different color. So I'm not going to paint over anything, but now I'm going to, I mean, create anything, but I'm going to spray paint it yellow and now create yellow shapes. So not only is it copy and paste, but what we copy and paste can be edited, can be changed.
So this is a very powerful little tool, the stamp tool in Sculptor VR. Not only is it a simple copy and paste between layers and between entirely different sculptures, but we can modify, control, even update and change that shape while we work with it. So hopefully this has impressed you guys and what a useful tool the stamp tool is and what it can be used for. Oh yes, those little arrows, I'm glad you asked. Yes indeed, those little arrows will rotate the stamp, rotate your object, so that you don't have to rotate your wrist too much if you want those different degrees. So this is the stamp tool in Sculptor VR and all the wonderful and powerful things you can do with it. Let me know in the comments if you have questions or if you have troubles with it. Likewise, show me what are all the cool things you've done with it yourself. So let me go back to my normal controls here, put up our usual end of uh, episode message. Thanks for joining us. We do this every week. We archive them all. Uh, they're done live on Twitch, but archived in both places we're known as Shameless Mayhem. Feel free to subscribe and sign up and ask us questions, and we'll see you guys later on. Have fun with Sculptor VR. Take care, everybody.